The community has great memories of the theater. People remember having their first kiss sitting up in the balcony, and they did not want to see it die. Uh, they wanted it to be a vital part of downtown. Here at the theater, we do just about everything. Uh, we show films, art house, independent, mainstream, children's documentaries, and then we also add in the live performances. Well, when we started in 1998, um, it was a pretty small group of people, and our focus at first was on the cleaning up the theater and remodeling it. And then about 2005, 2006, we needed to focus more on programming. We started doing live events and having you know, 40 days of use to, in 2011, we were up around 230 days, event days going on. Billy really has moved us forward from there. I mean, we are up to 400 members now, and we probably started with 20 members. I could have never imagined 10 years ago that we would be where we are today with, with performing arts. I don't think we're too afraid to, to accomplish, to, to try anything and see what we can do. In February, we had cello Zoe Keating here, and I would have never dreamed that we could have done 550 plus tickets on it. Uh, the community, you know, it's because it was so avant-garde and out of the mainstream. But you know, so we've had that to the Glenn Miller Orchestra. Um, the day before the Art Governor's Arts Award, we have the Sweto Gospel Choir. Um, so we just have a very wide range of programming, and I and I, I see some more room for growth in it. We work hard at at, at doing quality performances and movies that we do think the community will come to. But like Billy said, also doing some different things that maybe we can get people to come to that they've never experienced before. The key to us operating is our volunteers as well as the staff that we have. In 2011, our volunteers put in over 5,000 hours. And our board of directors are all volunteers and our board is a working board. I mean, they get called to, to run concessions sometimes when we're short and to meet and they were bathrooms. here Saturday, <laughs> clean bathrooms. Uh, even more so, the businesses in our community have continued to step up and help us program with financial support. Um, it never fails to amaze me when we go out looking for you know, dollars to bring artists in and, and bring the arts to the community in an affordable way. Our, our, community, our business community really supports the theater. The biggest thing is not to be afraid. You know, mm -hmm. to take the step off. The, you know, take the step off into the arts and see how far you can sink and pull yourself back up out of it and continue to do it every day. We'd like to thank the Nebraska Arts Council and Nebraskans for the Arts and the Nebraska Cultural Endowment for their support and having this award and giving it to the Midwest Theater. But mainly we'd like to thank all of our members and patrons and sponsors of the Midwest Theater and of Friends of the Midwest Theater, our board of directors, for all of the support that they've given us the last 10 years.